Nearly one year since the lockdown, New York's legendary comedy scene remains shuttered. It's unbelievable. Now a comedy club is suing the governor uh, of New York, claiming it's unconstitutional. In a lawsuit, I'll give you a quick excerpt. They say, quote, Cuomo has never publicly explained how comedy venues are meaningfully different from SNL, movie theaters, axe-throwing venues, casinos, and more in the context of COVID-19. You know what the answer is? He has no answer. The co-owner of the comedy club, Stand Up New York, which is an elite club in New York City, people just would kill to get on there and kill, is Donnie Zolden. Donnie, how tough has this last year been for you? Brian, thanks for having me. And again, I appreciate everything you guys have done to highlight the title small businesses. It's been very difficult. I mean, it's been, we're coming up on one year now. We're completely shuttered. We're not allowed to have indoor shows. We're not allowed to have outdoor shows. And mentally, financially, it's been very difficult, especially when businesses and industries are opening up all around us, from bowling alleys, pool halls, movie theaters, to increasing restaurant capacity. Weddings are now allowed in New York. And we, we just don't understand why we can be able to operate under the same guidelines as restaurants and bars. Yeah. It's really all I mean, Donnie, pool halls can open, bowling alleys can open, right? Movie theaters can open. You could prove you could do it. You'll figure out the math equation to separate the tables enough to keep the distance from the stage to make it work. What do they say when you ask? First of all, it's impossible to, to get a response from them. We've, we've reached out to the administration. We've reached out to local politicians. Um, I mean, these people are very difficult to reach. And when you do reach them, they're not, no one has an answer. And, and I mean, if I was in their position, I would hold a conference call uh, for venue operators just to explain to them the situation. I don't think that's asking for so much. I don't think so either. You got in this brawl with uh, Seinfeld back and forth because he left for the Hamptons and you said, you don't understand, Jerry, this, this New York City has never been this down before. Uh, he says it's going to come back. It comes in cycles. Uh, what do you say to him now? I mean, we're, we're still doing shows outside of the venue. We're doing shows on, on the train every Saturday night, on the one train starting from the Upper West Side, we're doing shows on rooftops. Uh, Anywhere we can, and I mean, I, I think I would throw that offer to him to maybe come to the city and perform at one of our shows just to see what other comics are going through in the city. Um, you know, I've, I've been here since the summer, and you know, he, he attacked my my partner. Um, you know, and yeah, I don't, I don't think it's cool that he that he's been far away from the city and not really on the ground uh, right. supporting comedy and um, it's, it's an unfortunate situation. Right. So, Donnie, listen, I don't know how much longer you can hold on, but when Cuomo gets sued, he usually responds. Hopefully you get open. You give so many comedians a shot with your open mic nights. You've launched so many careers. That has not happened for the last year. There's a lot of comedians that had to quit the business because they didn't have the opportunity to get better. Uh, Donnie Zoldin, we're pulling for you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Brian. You got it.